Well, then I have to play aquatics. I know the tank looks like crap. Look at all the babies. You guys are thriving. But like I said, I know the tank doesn't look good, but it actually is just fine. It's getting a healthy, generous 85% water change. Uh, I do this twice a week. That's probably why my fry are doing as good as they are. I do have a surprise coming, but that's neither here nor there. Fish is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And if you look back there, you see fry swimming and mom and dad right there. So, there's that. But yeah, I do about an 80% water change on this twice a week. It's a 15 gallon tank. Currently housing my electric blue car fry. And then we'll come over here. And this is my 10 gallon with my electric blue car fry. As you see, these guys are getting big. I did lose some. I have about 25 or 30, eh, maybe, maybe 30 in here. But you're doing great. All right, guys. So. Like I said in the video, we got a surprise coming. Well, I'll let the cat out of the bag. You know which one mine are because they are bigger, but the rest of them are new. It's like a local fish store. They were in a tank with some red jewels and the red jewels were kicking the ever living snot out of them. So now, they are in my aquarium. I have a lot of them, but there's always a but. Some of them are gonna go in there, and then some of them will end up in there. I am a South American cichlid lover, through and through. Um, as everybody knows from my previous video, some of these guys have ick, and now I don't believe it's ick, I actually believe it's epicillus because the treatment I've given them has not worked. However, I seen that the one gentleman had it on his, or the one fish had it on his eye. And to me, that's epicillus. So I'm going to treat it my way. You know, everybody has a way of doing it their way and so on and so forth. I'm going to do it my way. My way works. I know my way works because I've used it before. It's going to be impossible for me to catch the one guy that has it on him. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to treat the whole tank even the new ones. Let me see this little guy down here is pretty well beat up. He's, see that one's pretty well beat up. His tail is all jacked up. But my guys are the bigger ones. I, I feed my fish twice a day, especially when they're smaller. I want them to grow faster. I want them to be stronger. I want them to have a better immune system. My fish are healthy. Except for the ones with the episodes, which is only one. Just means he has a weak immune system and we're gonna fix that. So, this tank has got hella algae on it. Gotta fix that. As you see, the, the yellow labs are in here living cohesively. No deaths, no nothing of that nature. Everything is good. Everybody in this tank is still doing good even though there's only like six fish. You know what guys, if these guys end up dying, some of these guys, some of them, these guys will probably end up in there. I make think make this a 125 South American natural blue car tank. It's got a nice ring to it. Uh, did the water changes on the baby tanks? Oh, quick update. It's my guy with one eye. He is doing just very, very well. As you can see, he's healthy. His fins are all up. He's popping for us. Pretty sure that's a Bolivian ram. I just can't get him to turn so I can see that eye. There you go. You can see his eyes altered. His eyes gone. He can't see out of it. Like, I mean, I'm that close and he can't even see it. Electric blue Acara, obviously. I love those fish. And all my Severums are still in here. Doing great. I'm going to do a 50% water change on the natural blue car tank. And then we're going to go from there. Look at them, guys. 
Those are all babies and water bubbles, but all babies. I just put some food in here. They're going ham, even though there's still food on the bottom. Guys, if I try to vacuum that up, I end up losing a bunch of fry, and I'm not trying to lose a bunch of fry. So I will do an 80, 85 to 90 percent water change on that every time, just so I don't lose a fry. And for you to get people that get Oscars out there, you guys got to remember something. These guys are big fish. I mean, look at that dude. My hand, for reference. He thinks I'm gonna feed him, but it ain't gonna happen. I mean, look at her, my hand. These fish are 10 inches long at least. They grow an inch a month from what I've been told and what I've seen. From what I've witnessed with him, he has grown more than an inch a month. He's a monster. And this several, look at this one. Guys, I got him when he was that big. And that one at the same time. These guys are massive. These guys are growing slower though. I got my one remaining lonely. Right head top of hole right there. You can tell he's sad. As close as relative are gonna be these Jirapari. And I only see three of those. Oh, there's the, you know, I only see three of those. There's the fourth one. So, but that Oscar is up there doing his thing. Guys, I see people that pull their fish out of the tank and measure them. Don't ever do that. You're removing the fish's slime coat. And that's that fish's natural immune system. So don't pull it out the tank to measure it. That's just cool. I haven't got to Daisy's tank yet. She's looking at me sideways. She's mad at me. Daisy, I'm sorry, baby, but you, your tank is way over filtered. It really is. I'll get to you, I promise you. Probably won't be tonight. It'll be tomorrow. I've got to take care of these guys over here. I know you're healthy. Matter of fact, let's look at my my Oscar here, look at her head. She's never had a hole in the head, ever. And never will. I won't allow it. So, as you see, this is my pump for my sick tanks, for my tank, and my fish are sick. I use this. I can let it dry out. I can run either vinegar or bleach through it and let it dry out. And I don't have any issues. So that's why I use that pump. That is a dedicated pump for that only. It's got a short hose that runs across to my sink. I'm not going that way because right now it is laundry day and there's, yeah, there's stuff everywhere. But guys, I'm excited about these guys. These guys are cool. If I get these guys to grow out, I'd be happy because I don't have any of my own that I've bred. Everyone I've got, I've bought. I don't like that, that upsets me. Uh, nobody's getting fed today. It is fasting day in the fish room, however, these guys will be fed. These guys down here will be fed. These guys will be fed. These guys were just fed. And... My walru would get fed. They're used to me, not the camera, so that's why they run. So, let's see if we can find the Jaguar by itself. While we're down here. Where are you at, Jag? You can see the Jag has made a pit there and there. And there's the Jag all the way in the back. My Lawandas are doing great. These guys are all out and chipper and happy. Look at that guy. Tank's got to be cleaned. I didn't want to do it too soon because they are it is a new tank for them but as you can see the fish is beautiful the guppy tank doing flawless look at that this tank is running amazing there's all kinds of different fish in here there's tetras there's quarries there's platies there's two uh, plecos it's a hodgepodge i love it You guys think you're getting fed? It's not happening. Oh, look at my little nugget. Guys, I love Miranda's, but I didn't name that one because I get attached to it and it dies. I'm going to be upset. But that's going to conclude this video. We're going to run back over here and show off these fish because there's a bunch of them. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. And remember, it's your hobby. Do it your way. And that's what Blue Stock is.